Welcome back everybody. Today is a beautiful, special, amazing day because we're going to be taking a look back through all of the creepy incel reply videos that we've made so far. And also, I'm going to read some very creepy messages right now just to add a little bit extra spice to this video. So yeah, I hope you're doing amazing and I hope you're ready for this. I've never told anyone about this. One time, I'm listening. I was tired and I put the milk before the cereal? Oh my god, how dare you? Even if you are tired, it doesn't make any sense to put milk before cereal. It doesn't mean that you're less tired. <laughs> it's not easier. And then, I ate it with a sad emoji. Yeah, can I see your boobs? <laughs> Ew! You were having a perfectly normal conversation about how you eat cereal and you had to ruin it. Yeah, can I see your boobies now? Truth or dare? Truth. Are you in the mood? Uh, no. Truth or dare? Get out of my DMs. <laughs> Fair enough. Bye. Good game. Bye. Oh, that was wholesome. That wasn't even creepy. Somebody who can take no for an answer and they actually leave and they're not even angry about it? Hell yeah. That's how nice guys should handle rejection. Like, oh, okay. No worries. Bye. Happy Halloween. Oh, happy Halloween. Who is this? Guess who I am. Are you wearing Halloween makeup today? I am not. Well, are you working today? I don't know who this is, so I'm gonna block you. You idiot. I'm your future husband. <laughs> what? I can't believe you don't remember my number. Ew, bye. This one makes me angry. <laughs> well, what? The fact that you don't realize that I'm your future husband angers me very much. Hey, don't worry. I'm not creepy, lol. Or maybe I I am. What? <laughs> like, if you even say that, then you 100% are creepy. Hi, I hope to you're fine. I want to show you how your feet are so beautiful in drawer. I hope too that you will like it. You're drawing their feet? Nice. <laughs> so romantic. Oh, hello. I did this beautiful drawing of your Tootsie Wootsies. <laughs> I hope you like it. Hey, gorgeous. Hi. You're so pretty. Um, I'm hella, you know what, and I can't even make small talk right now, lol. Do you want to watch me? You know what. I'm about to... Huh? I'm sorry for being this straightforward. Sorry, but no, I'm gladly taken. Like, this entire conversation is so sad. I'm sorry for being this straightforward. I can't even make small talk right now. That's something that you need to fix. Ah, uh, I'm a lesbian. Oh, I see. You don't like Ding Dong at all then? Not really, no. I'll change you. Yeah, okay. Enjoy the compilation, guys. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. All that stuff. I need The Simpsons. To be honest, I just want to know, can I bite your thighs? What the actual frick? Meh. You ugly anyways. <laughs> wow. How many people do we have to read about that can't handle rejection? Like what? You thought I was interested in you? Oh my god, no way! <laughs> have you seen me and have you seen you? No, thank you. You know, like you just said, can I bite your thighs? <laughs> you obviously think they're something. You obviously don't think they're very ugly. Let me bite your thighs? You wish? My boobs look so good right now. Who wanna see? Goo goo gaga, mummy, I'm I'm so hungry. Can I have some milk? <laughs> please, mummy. Pretty please, or else I'm gonna cry. Wah, wah, please. Goo goo gaga, mummy. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I did not think I was gonna read this today. You know, I just sort of woke up this morning not realizing that I was gonna say, Goo goo gaga, mummy, I'm so hungry. Can I have some milk, please? <laughs> but hey, every day's an adventure. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Okay, so Britney Spears posts a photo on Twitter. Woof, woof, woof. Bark, bark, bark. Arf, arf, arf. <laughs> what is is 
off. Er, snarl. <laughs> woof, woof, grr, rough, rough, off, bark, bark, woof. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I'm reading this. Snarl, snarl, grr, grr, woof, woof, ah, grr. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, this is how you communicate with a human being, isn't it? Woof, 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 bark, bark, bark. <laughs> um, should I be worried? Oh, sorry, me dog took me phone. And also, I'm assuming they mean this in like a sexual way. They see something they like, so they start barking. I'm not so sure. Oh, I just sat on my glasses and they broke. I want to cry. Dang, that thing got a little power on it, huh? I bet it be stanking, don't it? <laughs> I bet it be stanking. I love how the Vinci channel is just a guide on what not to do and how not to talk to somebody. I'm proud of us guys. If you need me, I'm here. Anything at all. Think of me as a cool uncle or grandpa, partly because my body is old. Ah, uh, what? <laughs> is this the first icky, icky, gross, gross yuck of the day? Because, yeah, um, are you saying that you're old or are you saying that, you know, you work really hard and you do a lot of physical labor <laughs> and maybe you have bad knees and a bad lower back or that you sort of think of yourself as a grandpa or a cool uncle? Yeah, gonna go lock my doors. Pee pee poo poo. I don't care if you're single or not. You belong to me. You will submit to me and leave everyone behind. Do you really think someone like you can just exist without going into my personal harem? Ha! <laughs> Pushes up glasses. Wrong. You see, I'm a daddy dom and I always get what I want. And right now, what I want is you. Slams hand on wall pinning you against it? Yeah, wow, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> Can we move on? Like, I don't want to feel like we need to read wholesome memes in the middle of our videos. So yeah, we should probably move on. Right, so somebody makes a TikTok. Hi, my name is Russell and I'm a wilderness explorer. <laughs> probably one of the funniest random comments I've ever seen. Okie dokie. Why is that so funny? out of context. I would have liked to see you sleep next to me, listen to your breath and caress you, lightly brushing your skin so as not to wake you up. I adore you. <laughs> Ew. Love, your charm drives me crazy. You're a desirable woman. Thank you for existing. And thank your mummy for conceiving you like that. Yeah, wish I didn't read that. Thank your mummy for for conceiving you like that. Ew. You pee today? Why don't you want me? <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe it has something to do with the way that you message people. And yes, I did pee today. <laughs> Why don't you want me? <laughs> I'm being so romantic. Hello, S word. I'm gonna slap the milk out of your fat you know what. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> Charming. Is this the first conversation you've ever had? Seems like you need a bit of practice. I hope you had an amazing... What? Just an amazing? I hope you had an amazing day. Would be nice for you to care about me just enough so I wouldn't be so miserable. But as long as you're happy, that's all that matters. What an awful thing to say to somebody. Yeah, don't ever say that. Like, oh, I wouldn't be so miserable if you just cared cared about me, but I suppose you're happy and that's all that matters. Sending them on a guilt trip much? Yeah, I don't know, maybe block the number or pretend that you don't speak English. That's probably what I'd do. <laughs> but yeah, there's a reason you can block numbers. Oh my god, you can see the back of my head in the TV? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> that's so weird. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get like a Simpsons poster or something 
something to put here. Hello, Miss Pokey. I was scrolling through your page per usual and I happen to notice you take a plentiful amount of photos with your feet in frame and show them off quite a lot during streams. Is this on purpose? If so, please don't be embarrassed by my intellect. <laughs> I think it's rather cute. I have subscribed to you for another month and I was wondering if I could have secret access to some photos <laughs> of your adorable souls. If not, I understand you're a very busy woman and I'm no more than a guy on the internet <laughs> with a ravishingly high IQ, might I add. Thank. Okay, so I'm gonna say what I say in every single video ever. But they're joking, right? Somebody please tell me they're joking. Oh, with a ravishingly high IQ, might I add. Looking for pictures of Pokemane's feet. Okie doke. I spend my days doing maths and science. But yeah, when I have a little bit of downtime, I like to look at Pokemane's feet. <laughs> Hi, gorgeous. How are you? I'm crush over you. Every time when I look at you, I always remember my my little princess daughter. <laughs> I'm gonna be sick. Oh my god. Yeah, moving right along. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this. Is there anything to say about this? Hey, so my sister wants to get her boobs done and she really likes your size. <laughs> I already know where this is going. She doesn't have Instagram, so she told me to ask for her. No weird stuff. I'm serious. Yes. Can you send a picture of your boobs? No clothes. Just so she knows what to show the doctor or say. I'll give her my phone so only she sees the photo. <laughs> she just really needs it. Bear boob. <laughs> <laughs> Bear boob So she can see the full shape and roundness She even can pay me Just to let me know ASAP Wow <laughs> Yeah nice try buddy I don't think this is actually True somehow Something tells me your sister Might not actually need these Photos <laughs> Ah! Sound of me opening My mouth Ooh, ah! <laughs> Brutal metal scream On that note Breast to feed me? <laughs> yeah, um, you know how I said that we weren't gonna read wholesome memes in the middle of the video? I think we should probably read one. What is a love? I unfollowed some meme pages so my husband can send me memes that I haven't seen. Ah, oh, here it is. Wow, true love. <laughs> like I genuinely feel better and we only read one meme. That's amazing. Hey, mummers. Talking smooth. LMAO. Do you like smooth? What do you mean? You know what I mean. Uh, no. Actually. Um, <laughs> backdoor shenanigans. Yeah, um, I didn't realize that's what you meant. <laughs> that was not very obvious. Hey, Ken. Just wondering if we could set up a time to bang sometime soon. <laughs> well, could you pencil me in, Ken? I have have a little bit of time next to Thursday. Does the three o'clock work for you? <laughs> I love how professional this is. Hey Sarah, this is an automated message to remind you of your upcoming Netflix and chill appointment tonight. To confirm your appointment, text yes daddy. <laughs> to cancel your appointment, text nah, I'm good. Standard text and bill rates do apply. Yeah, so I've read a lot of incel conversations. This is not an incel conversation. You know, like you notice how this video hasn't been downright terrifying? Yeah, that's how you know it's not an actual incel conversation. Yeah, I've been going to therapy lately. They diagnosed me with split personality disorder. I have 12 confirmed different personalities because of my trauma. Oh, ain't no way all 12 of y'all are curving me. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. Statistically speaking, it's at least one of you that's gonna let me bang. Yeah, um, <laughs> probably shouldn't have said that. Well, we need to make another video on this so soon. Let me know down below if you're enjoying this, guys. GG, hope you get your... <laughs> you know what a you know what -ed. Wait, wait, wait. Hold your horses. You're a girl gamer? Not to be a freak, but just when I thought you couldn't get more attractive, <laughs> you started playing video games? Nicely done, my lady. You've just become every man's dream woman. If you'd missed a couple before, now you can be sure you've got us all drooling. Lol. Yeah. <laughs> Romantic. You are so cute. I want you bad, my curvy Mediterranean goddess. Men 5,000 years ago would set cities to sword and fire for women like you. <laughs> Thank you, I suppose. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Yeah, lose my number. Baby needs milk. Ew. <laughs> I don't know you. And then they send this photo. Baby needs milk. I need to cry. <laughs> Get out of here with that. Somebody reply to somebody's Instagram story. Please let me put up solar panels for you. <laughs> Firstly, let me start off by saying that you're already a solid 6 out of 10, but if you lost some weight, about 10 pounds, you would look amazing, not gonna lie. I know you didn't ask for my opinion, but I just thought I'd give you some constructive criticism because you deserve to look better. Have a nice night. What an awful thing to say to somebody. Oh my god. As you can tell by my profile, assuming that you looked, I go to the gym daily. You can trust my judgment. I hope you get hit by a truck. <laughs> oh my god. You know, like, we're a wholesome channel here. I try to keep it as wholesome as I possibly can, but that is an amazing response. But yeah, for real, how dare you? <laughs> the audacity. Can you be honest with me? Am I ugly? I don't think I'm ugly but I don't have high self-confidence either. If I look like this and I met you at a bar and I asked you to sit with me, danced with you, and then tried to give you my number and was super sincere about it, would you reject me too? What sort of a question is that? What do you mean? Even if they're like, yeah, 100% bro, that doesn't mean that you're ugly. True beauty comes from the inside. Wow, that's actually true though. I'm having a mind-blowing moment. <laughs> but like, you can be so beautiful on the outside, but it doesn't matter if you're hideous on the inside. <laughs> wow, the Vinci Learning Channel. Should I flush my head in the toilet? <laughs> and give myself an atomic wedgie? For, you know, being sexist and disrespectful towards women my whole life? I don't know, bro. What do you mean? Should ya? Probably not. I don't think the way to stop being a disrespectful person towards women is to flush your head in the toilet. Like an atomic wedgie might do it, <laughs> but I've never actually heard of it working. Oh my god, imagine if you could give somebody a wedgie and it stopped them from being sexist. <laughs> that would be incredible. Austin, 23. If you dress like a stripper, please don't swipe back. I just want someone to love me, and I know that's early to say, but it'd be cool. Disney movies, comedy movies, and romance movies are a must. Hmm, nature, hiking, walking, trails, camping, cabins. The horizontal mumbo is overrated. I just want to grow with someone. I'm five foot five, by the way. Andrew Tate is the man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was literally about to say, like, this isn't too bad. Also, sorry if I'm hyperactive, guys. I've been eating a bag of snakes. <laughs> it's a beautiful day today. Hey, man, can I talk to you about so-and-so? Um, I guess so. What about her? Right, so we might have already read this one before. I think I can sort of recognize it. Well, I've been talking with her a lot, and we've grown pretty close. I know you're her boyfriend and all, but I was gonna politely...
politely ask if you could break up with her. I just really feel a connection to her and she would be happy with me. <laughs> what would you even say if somebody said that? I know I've already said it today, but how dare you? Oh, that's funny because she told me you were creepy and constantly texting her when she doesn't even reply. You need to stop talking to my girlfriend and get the hell out of my DMs. Lol, you know she's just using that as an excuse. Oh my god, no way. You know she's just using that as an excuse because she'd rather tell you that than the truth, which is that she met a nice, charming alpha male. You betas are all the same. What the hell? Did you make her block me? To be honest, I should thank you. I didn't even want that ugly you-know-what anyway. Have fun with her though, beta. Yeah, you're insane. Yeah, when people seriously talk about being an alpha male and seriously call somebody else a beta, I feel like that's a genuinely the least alpha male thing ever. <laughs> you know, like I'm sure you can see yourself as an alpha in a not toxic way. It's just a shame that we've never read it in a non toxic way. So I don't know if that even exists. I think what I'm imagining is just, you know, being a hard worker and having decent morals and being a good, admirable person. But that's not necessarily the same as an alpha male or a beta male. But yeah, yeah, that was a ridiculous conversation, and I can't believe we're reading it. Um, lactation content? <laughs> what are your videos of? Videos of you lactating? Question mark? Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna go out and take a stab in the dark here. Probably not. Oh my god, people ask me this all the time. They're like, oh, Vince, what do you do for a living? And I'm like, oh, I make YouTube videos. And they turn around and they go, lactation content? Don't worry. I deal with this all the time. Right, so this time it's a selfie on Twitter. You need a dog or something? I can bark. <laughs> that's amazing, and that's definitely not an incel reply. Genuinely kind of funny. You know, like, don't say it, but I'm sort of glad that you did at the same time. You know, like, on the scale of bad stuff that we read, stuff that is totally fine here, and stuff that is terrifying here, it's only probably like here. You need a dog or something? I can bark. <laughs> I'm a good woofer. I just read your bio. I'm sorry that I don't think we'd be a good match. Um, out of curiosity, which part made you determine that? Single mother. So I'll come second to children that aren't even mine, which is totally understandable by the way. Also, you have kids and you're 35, so you probably don't want any more. And even if you did, it's about a 70 percent chance that you can't? Nah, surely not. Surely 35 is like the very, very beginning of like when you might have complications, but like surely it'll be completely fine. So your career will come before me as well? Most likely not submissive. Ew! I knew it was only a matter of time before we saw the word submissive. Have the same I don't need a man, I want a man mentality as all the other guys girls that, you know, let that social construct brainwash them. When girls typically say that they're independent, they use it as an excuse for their bad behavior and masculine traits. I want a stay-at-home wife that's the mother to my children who will give me stability and will stay loyal to me and is submissive. But that's impossible to find. Sorry for the rant. Modern dating is impossible for men like me, lol. Yeah, I feel like when they're talking about wanting somebody submissive, I don't even really need to talk about it. You know, like, do I even need to say anything here? But why would you message somebody this? Like, that's the main thing I'm wondering here. I just read your bio. I'm sorry, I don't think we'd be a good match. They must have already been having a conversation before this. Because, like, surely they didn't just message them just to say this. <laughs> Please tell me they didn't do that. Okay, so another selfie on Twitter, and it's actually the same person as before. The same person in the comment, and the same person in the photo. Please discipline me, mother. <laughs> Ew. You know, like, they're obviously saying it in a very joking way, but still makes me feel a little bit unsettled on the inside. You look like you want to be choked.
Anth oh my god. Hi, I'm Anthony. I'm looking for a long-term relationship. Someone I can kiss and spank until their blank is blank and blank and cuddle with. Yeah, um, good luck with that. <laughs> I think we should probably read one more, guys. Vincy is getting nervous. <laughs> Beautiful. And quite large boobies as well, if you don't mind. Sorry. <laughs> so let me guess, borderline personality disorder? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is the last post of the day. How would you open two people eating an ice cream? It sure is hot out. Licks my ice cream while winking. <laughs> nah. Don't do that. You know, like once again, that's not even in Selly. Well, I don't think it's in Selly. It's just probably not a very good idea. Oh, it sure is hot out today. <laughs> hey, baby. Yeah. Um, time to go. <laughs> Hello. I am entitled to that P video. And then they call them a whore. And that's not very nice. You know, like it doesn't really matter how good the P video is. You don't need to call somebody names, okay? See, like, I feel like this one is a lot more in Selly. <laughs> some of them are, and some of them aren't. They're just a little bit weird. Because, you know, we've read some incel stuff before, and it doesn't really make you want to laugh. It makes you want to cry. Once again, how would you open? A woman that can cook and make bread? You're off to a good start. But can you also clean? Winky face? Yeah, smooth. <laughs> Will you be my trad wife? <laughs> yes or no? A woman that can cook and make bread? What, making bread isn't cooking? Well, it's baking, I suppose. But are they the same? I'm having a midlife crisis at 23. You're so pretty. So yummy. Sweet and warm kisses to you. <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. Way better than the other stuff we read on here. Sweet and warm kisses to you. Thank you so much. With a little rose and some chocolates and a rose. Wait, no. <laughs> a love heart. I've never felt so spoilt in my life. Listen, let's cut all the crap. I want to put you down on the board and karate chop your... <laughs> you know what? I want to be the master and I want you to be my submissive biatch. Hey, yay, yay. <laughs> Going swimmingly. I want to be your one and only. I want to be the one you think about before you sleep and even before you breathe. And I want nothing but to think of the smell of your hair and to get <laughs> um boyoyoing. You want a karate chop there, what? Is that meant to be seductive? Getting karate chopped down there? <laughs> Doesn't sound very pleasurable to be honest. You look like I could talk to you for hours and I just noticed your breasts are of a larger size. Not a very important to me as I look beyond that, but I just feel like I could talk to you about anything. And you have a really big bedoinka doinks, but like, <laughs> you know, I don't see that, okay? I'm a gentleman. I don't look at things like this. Will you marry me? You see this young woman at a hotel lobby. She notices you noticing her. How do you open? With a slight smirk. You had a bigger bra on yesterday. In brackets, because of uneven suntan on her left boob? Then try to follow up with something along the lines of, good thing you didn't wear sunglasses then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what that says to that person? Hey, I've been staring at your boobies. <laughs> like, what do you actually think they're gonna say? Oh my god, you're such a charmer. Noticing tan lines on my boobs. The man of my dreams. You farted in crow yesterday. You were the tall brunette with the near perfect body that farted in the bread section last night. <laughs> I was the tall guy next to you that looked over and asked, was that you? You quickly replied, no, it wasn't me. You almost seemed insulted that I would ask. As the stink grew, you continued to deny your flatulence, <laughs> but it was evident. I tried to get rid of the stench by waving two loaves of ciabatta bread. You proceeded 
proceeded to storm off in an angry manner. You were beautiful, and even if you are a liar and fart like a Clydesdale, <laughs> I'd love to meet up. Yeah, so there's no way that's real, and also it's the best thing I've ever read. Your farts are so bad, but you're so beautiful. Like, if that's not true love, I don't know what is. Somebody responds to an Instagram story and just says a backdoor shenanigans question mark and then they follow that up with I have self-respect <laughs> um, I don't know what that means backdoor fun times no 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 I have self-respect like are they responding to something else or are they responding to themselves I don't know but I hope you're okay bro I can't with Gen Z anymore I swear to god I'm a you know what I'm a nice and caring guy, but people can't handle my opinions because they're offensive and messed up and all this other crap. But people need to start learning to respect opinions. Oh god, you're one of those people? <laughs> yeah, right. So your opinions are offensive and messed up. Like what? Your opinions on everything? Like what are you talking about? You know, like offensive is one thing, but if people are actually saying that your opinions are messed up, up. <laughs> like, they're probably not very good. How are your boobs? They're okay. <laughs> they're just checking in on them. Let me see. No. I just want to make sure they're okay. Yeah, um, I think they are okay. Hi, just checking in. How are the boobily loobilies? I've missed them so much. <laughs> the way they said it literally sounds like they're talking about a friend or something. Like, how so and so? I miss them so much much. I hope they're well. And they're talking about someone's boobs. Yeah, stop. Hey, I think I saw you crying on the train today. Haha, -ha, really? What train? 8th Avenue bound L. Haha, -ha, yeah, that was me, FML. I was listening to Bjork. Haha, -ha, been there for sure. You like pee? <laughs> no! <laughs> you know, like, if they happen to like pee, that's incredible. But I'm guessing somehow the that they didn't. Hey, saw you crying. Do you like pee? It always cheers me up. Can you spit in my mouth? Are you a leftist? Huh? What do you mean? You want them to spit in your mouth. Do you really care that much? Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know if I want your spit in my mouth. What if I told you that the only thing I want to strip off is your mind? <laughs> so I could caress your every thought and make a love to your notions and perceptions. Yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. <laughs> please, 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 please. You guys know me. I'm gonna say every single one of these pleases. Please, 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 just give me a chance. Just talk to me. You will find that I'm a friendly man. I'm not obsessed about your you know what, like everyone else. I just want to have a nice conversation. And if you don't respond, then frick you! <laughs> In capital letters. Yeah, but this is somebody making fun of people like this, isn't it? Like, that's a little bit on the nose, don't you think? <laughs> if you don't respond, then frick you! Wait, no, is that real? Like, it actually might be real. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't want to think about that. Can I have a picture of your sweaty armpits? Haha, -ha, just kidding, not kidding. I'm going to kidnap you. Nah. <laughs> this is way too wholesome of a channel to read this. Yeah, please tell me they're joking. I don't know if it's too early to say this, but it has to be said. I want to, I don't know, it's crossed out. And climb inside of you and live like a little cat in your gut forever. I'll feed off whatever you eat like a little parasite. Romantic. <laughs> oh, 
boy, such a charmer. <laughs> you know just what I like to hear. Hi, I don't mean to come off creepy, but I saw one of your tweets about some fight between a guy and a girl. And out of curiosity, I looked up your profile and I couldn't help but notice how beautiful you are. I find you very attractive, so I created a Twitter profile so I could get the chance to talk to you, if that's okay. I'm just asking for a shot. Yeah, like this one isn't that creepy, but probably not gonna go anywhere. You know, like what do they expect them to say to this? Like, oh yeah, absolutely I'll give you a shot. Let's, you know, go get a coffee. It's probably some random person that lives on the other side of the world. You know, I don't really understand. Wow, so somebody sends this. Hey, make my ding dong great again. Um, do I know you? I am the president of your VJJ. Excuse me? And that's all there is. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have so many questions <laughs> and there's no answers. Every single post that we read opens up an entire can of worms and we don't get any answers. It's so unsatisfying. I tip my hat to you, young lady. You are beautiful beyond belief. You watch anime? Aw, oh, thanks. Uh, not really. Really? Should I? No longer interested. Bye. <laughs> that one is so funny. Very straight to the point. Sorry, you're just not what I'm looking for. <laughs> and that's okay. Wait, is this the gentleman that is rejecting the other person? It's normally the other way around. You don't watch anime? Deal breaker. You know, I don't think that's the weird part about this. It's more the, I tip my hat to you, young lady. Like, don't say that. Somebody replies reply to your story. Get some meat on them bones, lol. And then months later, you play Fortnite? <laughs> no, not even a little bit. Like, I suppose they're just trying to make conversation, but what are the chances of them playing Fortnite? And also, get some meat on them bones? Is that an appropriate thing to say to somebody? Do we ever read anything that's appropriate to say to somebody? Damn, um, what's your favourite game as of right now? See, Jai I guess that's the game I've played most. Holy crap. Do you want to do the diddly? Because that's pretty freaking hot, not gonna lie. Is it? I can definitely see people finding that hot. Oh my god, you're into Minecraft as well? <laughs> can we please get married? But yeah, that's a little bit forward. <laughs> you know, like they're coming right out the gate at 100 kilometers an hour. Hi, incel noises. What's an incel noise? <laughs> Why do you always read? Reject me. <laughs> is that what an incel noise is? Damn it, Foids. I don't understand, but I'm very curious. Hey, I just wanted to tell you that you looked very pretty today in your snaps. Would you like to go out on a date sometime? No thanks, I only date a-holes. Now listen here, you big four-headed biatch. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know if this is... Well, it might be an incel reply. But like, dude, they said, no thanks, I only date a -holes. A-holes. A-hole? I can be that. Hello, Kai. Hope you're having a great week. I'd love to be friends. Also, no offense, but you look like my sister. Lol, interesting. And thanks. I hope your week is going well too. You are welcome. Does that freak you out? Um, I'd love to see a picture of her. I like finding doppelgangers, lol. I will send you a picture as soon as I can. Hypothetical question. Would you ever date or bang? a guy knowing that you look like his sister? Why can't this stuff just be easy to read? But no, it has to be downright terrifying, doesn't it? Okay, so they're on Tinder and they send two roses. What are you up to? Hey, hi, hi, hi. Oh, I want to choke you. Yeah, um, <laughs> cool, dude. Thank you for making it very, very uncomfortable. Are you ugly? Yes. Would I still smell? Smash. Yes. Why? Because I have no morals. That's so mean. <laughs> like, straight up. Like, yeah, you're so ugly, but I can, you know, look past it for a little while. Ew. Pokemane. Pooped with a smiley face. Can I smell it? Ah. <laughs> of course somebody said that. Actually, there were probably thousands of people who said that. Let's play a game. You show me your boob, and I guess if it's the left or the right. No. <laughs> no, no, no. How about we read wholesome memes?
memes? No, I'm not ready for wholesome memes yet, but I am thinking about them. Oh no, I forgot to warn you. I'm sorry if I act a little bit weird right now. I'm starting to get in heat. What? <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm going to bed before I witness that. Hmm, my bad. Rest well. Good morning at 7am. <laughs> yeah, terrifying. Don't you just love waking up to a message that you really hoped it wouldn't be there in the morning? Yeah, lovely and charming and romantic and not scary. Hi, good boy. Can you woof for me? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> like, this is probably the least incel one we've read today, but it's sort of close. You are very sexy. I know. What? Uh, what? Blonde. Blonde tempts me so much. I literally do not care. So soft like cheese. <laughs> what? What kind of cheese? What do you mean? Not all cheese is soft, is it? Is all cheese soft? I suppose all cheese is soft, but some cheese is softer than other cheese. I really love cheese. Hey, can you keep a secret? Yeah, sure. Well, I don't have a secret. I just wanted you to reply. Worked, didn't it? You're cute AF. <laughs> oh, this one's kind of sweet in like a little bit of a weird way. So yeah, I'm sure they lived happily ever after. Goodbye, men. Hello, women. Hey. I would travel the world on foot and give my entire livelihood away just to have the chance to sniff a room that you once farted in? You're too kind. Like, that's some real dedication. I want to grab you by your throat and lick your pretty tongue. I'm super busy up until after this upcoming weekend. After that, I'm all yours. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you need to worry, buddy. I'm super busy up until after this upcoming weekend. After that, I'm all yours. Yeah, but I don't think you are somehow. Something tells me they're probably not interested. Hey, what's up? You didn't call, which means you are racist deep down in your heart. What? <laughs> that's not an incel one. That's just a... Well, maybe it is. It's just confusing. What do you mean? I love how I could say the same thing to every every single one of these. Hello, how you doing thickness? <laughs> Hi, you doing? Oh, freak you too, you stupid white trash. Yeah, handled that situation maturely, didn't ya? <laughs> how you doing thickness? I'm gonna start talking to my friends like that. Hey, beautiful. Hey, so how was my gorgeous sunflowers day? Um, I'm not your gorgeous sunflower. Remember, I have a boyfriend, but my day was all right. Wow. Rude. I try to be nice and this is the thanks I get. Bye. I'm blocking you. Okay. Yeah, I don't think they're too worried about this. I'm pretty sure they're going to be fine. I am Jesus. I command you. Um, <laughs> I don't even know if I can say it. Suck my, you know what? <laughs> yeah, not a good way to start a conversation with somebody, but a very good way to start an incel replies video. Hey. Okie dokie then, you fat, ugly, and fake, but aren't down to frick when a hot guy gives you a chance? Get the frick out of this app then, Shrek looking ass. Bro, <laughs> that's not very nice. Shrek looking ass. That is not something that you should say to anybody. It's unbelievable how they were so ready to say this. Like, hey, how you doing? Ten seconds later, okie dokie then. You're fat, you're ugly, and you're fake. You may be attractive, but this is not a very attractive attitude. Yo, send me videos of you using your feet to crush eggs. Ah, I need that crap in my life. <laughs> Please, I have money. Videos of somebody crushing eggs with their feet. I mean, how much money are we talking here, bro? <laughs> like, come on, we're only talking about breaking eggs with feet? Doesn't seem like that bad of a deal. <laughs> Hello, Julie. You don't know who I am, but I just wanted to say your photo saved me from, you know. Keep doing what you're doing, my saviour. Thank you for giving me a second chance at life. What's your number? I want to thank you personally on the phone. I'm not going to hit on you like those are freaking creepy perverts with small you-know-what. I just want to show my gratitude, but it's cool if you're busy. Thank you for being you. Yeah, like we've read worse stuff, but at the same time, you went
went a little bit <laughs> like too far there. I'm not going to hit on you like those are freaking creepy perverts with small you know what. <laughs> that was necessary. Why? Like, how do you think the other person is going to feel reading that? Like, oh, yeah. Okie doke. <laughs> That's really good then. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't we hang out sometime? Probably not. Don't be afraid to let those beauties out, lol. May I see those nice boobs of yours, lol. Keeping those poor big boobies to yourself, huh, lol. <laughs> you have just been lobstered. Lobster another person to be unlobstered. Yeah, I don't think this conversation is gonna go the way you want it to go somehow. Keeping those big things to yourself, huh? <laughs> Do you mind to share with me? So smooth, bro. Damn, you fine. Can I get a FB though? Follow back? No response? Go to hell. Yeah, that was unnecessary. Oh my god, I'm definitely gonna follow you back now. <laughs> You're such a grounded, reasonable, lovely person. <laughs> I'm sure to follow you back. Tell me to go to hell for no reason. Not okay. Oh, so much talk about your big boobies. Can I see them by any chance? Come on, please. Please, can I see your boobs? Hey, I'm still waiting on that booby pic. Hurry the frick up. <laughs> oh my god. They don't actually think that they're gonna send them photos, do they? Hurry up, I'm getting very impatient. I get the feeling you'll be waiting for a while longer. Hello, you look like my future wife. Our marriage begins now. Excuse me? Any attempts to resist is futile. I have thousands of accounts. I'll keep hitting on you with various profiles until I succeed. Eventually, you will fall in love and our relationship will thrive. Not how that works, buddy. <laughs> what are you talking about? You could do this a billion times and it's not going to make them fall in love with you. Eventually, they're like, oh my god, yeah, that's amazing. You're so kind. Let's definitely get married. And also, obviously, if somebody's messaging you on thousands of accounts, report all of them every single time. I don't think I can handle a hot girl, but I think I can handle you. Wow, that's so mean. That feels like an insult somehow. Yeah, because they're saying you're not a hot girl. I promise it's not. Haha. <laughs> I think you're hot. I just think I can handle you? Yeah, romantic. <laughs> Reading these messages feels like getting punched in the face. Like, it's just so abrasive. And every time you read it, you're like, oh, God. <laughs> that was awful. Would you make me lick your shoes? I can pay you. I don't have a lot. I'm 24 years old. I have 50 right now. On top of that, I could serve you and be your object to use for anything and everything you want. Any chores cleaning, laundry rides, cooking massage, fetch you anything 24-7. If you want, I could also serve your partner and friends. Yeah, that's not super weird, is it? Like, do these people realize that they're being super weird? They have to, surely. They probably like it, to be honest. Like, there's no way somebody sends this message to somebody and is like, oh, you know, this is reasonable and a perfectly fine thing to say to somebody. This is how you make conversations conversation, isn't it? Wow, you are quirky and random and XD. What's up, ugly biatch? Wow, that didn't take long. Yesterday at 3.22 a.m. you sent the first messages and the next day at four in the afternoon you sent ugly biatch. Let me guess, because they didn't respond and that somehow is a crime? Nobody owes anybody a response, you know? It's not something that you need to get angry about about. Wait, you didn't respond to my weird messages? I am so angry and this automatically makes you ugly somehow. Hey beautiful, I'm chopping off my ding dong and presenting it to you as a present. Wait, what? Accept my humble sacrifice. It is a token of my unquestioning dedication. Very flattering. I'm so dedicated to you that I'm gonna chop my ding dong off and give it to you as a present. Right. <laughs> yeah, um, police? Hello? Somebody responding to somebody's Instagram story. Sexy as. I want to play with you. I will do anything. 300 for playing with your boobs. You want to pay them to play with their boobs. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean? 
14. You know, like, I don't want to be rude, but that is the most 14-year-old boy message I've ever seen. Can I send you $300 to play with your boobs? <laughs> so inappropriate. So somehow, like, childish. And yeah, not wholesome. I'm crass. You shouldn't waste your time with a loser like me. Or should you? Yeah, um, it doesn't look like they're going to. Damn, I feel sort of bad about this one, but you probably shouldn't message you shouldn't waste your time with a loser like me. You know, like that sort of attitude is not very attractive. Oh my god, what's that smell? Are you sniffs ovulating? <laughs> Ew, that is so uncomfortable. What's that smell? <laughs> so gross, dude. My dog has to be put down today. Oh no, that's sad. Yeah, can I see your feet? <laughs> nah, you can't. They just don't care. Like, oh yeah, that's really sad. I feel so sorry for you. Can you show me your feet now, please? This is a very, very important. Feet pics now. God, you're an absolute smoke show. That being said, may God curse you with trash men until you pick me. Amen. Yeah, every nice guy ever. Every single guy in the entire world is a piece of garbage except for me and me only, so you can just date them instead of me. Wait, no. You should date them if you don't choose me. Like, this isn't gonna make them be like, oh yeah, great, I'll definitely date you, you know? Like, oh, you make me so uncomfortable, so yeah, definitely. Let's get together sometime. Hey, pretty girl. I'm a D1 athlete, but don't worry, you can get this D2. Oh my god, that's so bad. No response. Ugly ass mother flipper. Laughing my ass off, you really think you're all that. Pipe down, Miss Popular. Laughing my ass off, now that you clicked in here, you're pretty. Wait, so that end bit, now that you clicked in here, you're pretty? So did they see that they were typing and they're like, oh, wait a second, you're actually very beautiful. Forget everything I just said. Yeah, something tells me this didn't lead anywhere. Can I see your boobies, please? With the little ooh-woo, I'm a little cutie sort of hands. No, ooh-woo, I'm so cute. Show me your boobies. No. Hey there, show me them mummy milkers, please. They're all literally saying the same thing in a different way. Can I please see your boobies, please? No, no, no. Show me them mummy milkers. The answer is still nobody. Sorry, I shouldn't point at the camera. Pointing is rude. I'm sorry, guys. I'm assuming that we match since we're both a naturally awesome. I'm assuming that we match since we're both a naturally awesome. I'm assuming that we matched because we're both a naturally awesome. <laughs> yeah. Why did you assume that we matched? Because I'm awesome? Oh, stop it. Wait a second. So they were like a months apart. They just said the same thing. No, I don't want to think of something else to say. They obviously need to respond to the first thing I said. So I'm just going to send it again and again. How do you open? Hey, I noticed you aren't wearing a sweater. Do you know how high the UV rays are today? Rhetorical. I hope you're wearing sunscreen. You have a lovely skin. It's important to care for it. Lucky for you, I have some in my car. Just to follow me. Ha ha. I'll even apply it for you. Ew. <laughs> That's so not how you should open. Just to follow me to your car and I'll put sunscreen on you. Yeah, charming. Megan the Stallion needs to realize I was put on this earth for her. Without me, she is incomplete. <laughs> I'm her ying. She is my yang. She is my sun. I am her moon. Meg, when will you realize I'm what you need? <laughs> that is hilarious. When will you realize that I'm what you need? Literally never, because they probably have no idea who you are. And the fact that they said this is amazing. You know, like they're obviously joking, because if they weren't joking, I'd be very worried about them. Greetings, mistress. May I please worship you? Or do you want a boy you? Do you mind if I download a picture of yours to my computer? You're
Your beauty is so striking. Yeah. Belle Delphine. Please, God, I want to impregnate Belle Delphine so bad. I want her to bear my children with those beautiful childbearing hips. That beautiful radiant angel like a goddess having come down to earth to cleanse us of our sins. Yeah, that's enough for today, guys. <laughs> Yo, what's up? I am eight years old, but when I grow up, I'll hit on you and you will become my wife. Remember my name, Biarch? What? Yo, what's up? I am eight years old. I didn't think I would ever read that. You look like an anime girl. I wonder how your you-know-what looks. Ah, so romantic. Welcome back to today's episode of Has This Person Ever Talked to Somebody Before? Do you want to sex? Well, I'm guessing that's a no. Ah, uh, yeah, you would be correct. Good luck, though. Could I see one picture of you in underwear? <laughs> Probably not. I love how it's just immediately uncomfortable. Kind of amazing, really. My friends and I have religious differences. They refuse to worship you as a goddess. <laughs> well, like, at least this one's kind of funny. It's not just downright creepy like all the other ones. Do you need a laundry done? I got you. You need breakfast done? I got you. You need plumbing? I got you you. You need electric work. I got you. You need cleaning. I got you. You need to you know what. I got you. You need a nice guy to show to your mother. I got you. You need me to beat up a creep. I got you. What's your number? I'm your guy for everything. I'm the number one guy. I mean it. Sex now. Let's a freaking go. <laughs> no way you just ended it like that. How does somebody write something like that and just be like, oh yeah, this is a perfectly fine thing to say to somebody. And also the way that they just sneaked in that middle one in the middle of of everything else they were saying. Like what, they just weren't gonna see that? I can help you with your electrical work and your cleaning and your plumbing and also if you need to, um, you know what. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Awkwardly slides into DM. Um, hello. <laughs> yeah, I read enough creepy asterisks the other day. Thank you very much. We don't need any more. Please send me some pictures of some sex naked babes before I go crazy. Please send them soon. So they send a photo of what? Like a naked mole rat? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted. I did the solo diddly. You mean nothing to me now. Hello? You hate me. Yeah, well, don't say stuff like that. What are you talking about? You just said that you did the solo diddly and now they don't mean anything to you? Oh, why do you hate me? <laughs> oh, it's such a mystery. I am Jesus. I command you. Um, <laughs> you know what, my ding dong? Yeah, something doesn't seem quite right here. <laughs> something doesn't quite add up, I feel like. Hey, I just got a question out of curiosity. Curiosity. If it's not a problem to answer, would you step on my ding dong in sneakers or not? If yes, with one or both feet and with a full or half weight on my hard or soft, you know what? Please ignore if you wouldn't step. Did you copy and paste that? Who knows? Um, I think I know. I think you got nothing from that. All I know is you copy and paste that to every female you meet. So what's your point? And what do you got from that? That is what I got from your message. Oh, you're a brainless piece of crap. Get a life and something to do. What? What do you mean? How do you come to that conclusion from what we just read? They're a brainless piece of crap because they asked you if you copy and pasted that. Bro, relax. You're welcome, hun. Do you want to see my abs in my face? Hee <laughs> hee, with a little surprise. 
eyes in it. I promise you'll like it. And maybe if you like it, you'll show me something of you. Hee <laughs> hee. Something you don't normally post. Is that okay? No, absolutely not. Yeah, fair enough. I'm at work right now. I'm making money just for you. I'm giving it all to you. My car too. My clothes. Even if you don't want them, they're yours. Just say the word. All of the food in my house. I'm straight up paying my water bill just in case you want a sip of my water. I will give you the skin off of my body. My organs are yours. All of them. You can have my fingernails and hair and teeth too. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> I think I'll pass. Good evening. I saw you on my recommended and I thought you had a beautiful smile along with the fact that I think your waifu material. Nerd reference from the community. So, I was wondering if we could get to know each other over lunch or something. Hopefully you see this one day. Aww. <laughs> sort of wholesome, but also kind of not at all. Like, hey baby, I think you're waifu material. Ah, okay. Yes, the man of my dreams. <laughs> this one literally just says, I'll make you sticky soon. That's revolting. <laughs> Do you have a partner? Nope. Oh, how come? I don't know, the right person never came along. Hee <laughs> hee, I'll hit on you, but I'm pervy. Would that be okay? <laughs> nah. <laughs> I'm very very uncomfortable right now. You're so beautiful. Marry me? Never mind. I just did the solo diddly. You mean nothing to me. Is this the one from before or are multiple people saying this? Please tell me it's the one from before. Hey. Oh, you're all the same. You, my ex, everyone. So why try? Goodbye. Wow. With an attitude like that. Yeah. Why even try? Cry. Oh my god. God. <laughs> There's an issue here, and it's not that everybody else is all the same. It's this awful attitude. Frick you, Biatch. Next time, don't add my snap. Next time, don't add my snap if you're gonna block me for no reason. Now, freaking block me here too. By S word. Freaking anime hater. Go ahead, block me. Block me, block me, block me, block me. Block me. Block me, block me, block me. Hurry up. Freaking blocking for no reason, shaking my head. Freaking anime hater. <laughs> That's such a weak insult. Like, oh, you don't like something? Yeah. <laughs> Take that. Right, so these are photos down below and somebody responds to it. Mummy, woof, woof, woof. Mummy, can I lick you? Can you spit on me? Woof, woof, mummy with a whole bunch bunch of emojis. Yeah, and the worst part is, people like this would probably get messages like that every single day. I don't even want to imagine how many people say stuff like this. Hey, you didn't come home to your apartment last night. I missed you and your smells. What? And there's no other messages. Yeah, gonna pretend I didn't read that. You're so hot and I'm so ugly and fat. Please give me a chance. <laughs> Why would you say that? Listen, you're hot. I'm not. Please date me. <laughs> not a very good opener. Oh, gamer girl sent picked up. And a picture of an angry wolf. What the hell am I reading? I have some questions to ask you. Yeah, what's up? What is your favorite color? What would you do if I give you a hug? What would you do if if I try to hold your hand. I'm just asking. <laughs> what? Why am I so uncomfortable right now? I'm just reading posts off my phone, but for some reason I'm really uncomfortable. Can I drink your blood? In brackets, politely. Yeah, but how? How do you do that politely? Stunning female. Do you play League of Legends? <laughs> Stunning female. 
fail. <laughs> oh my god, I'm addicted to reading these. Please like me. Please, I beg you. Please, I need you to like me. Please, need it now. Yeah, but why? What do you mean? Why do you need them to like you? I love how these are so vague. Daniel All American Black. Ultimate Alpha Male. Requirements to be my girlfriend version 2.0. One, must have decent boobs. Two, must have a muscular butt. Three, must have abs. Must have nice hair. Must work out regularly. Must have no debt. Must have no bad tattoos. Must have no kids. Must be between 18 and 40. Must have a thick muscle thighs. Must be pretty. Cannot have guy friends. I have to check her phone once a week. I must be present when she hangs out with her girlfriends and no girls nights out. Must have a decent job. Must do everything I say. Has to call me every day. Must come with me on dates. Must do nice things for me. Must give me a nice gift at least once a month. Having kids must be an option. Must help around the house. Yeah, okay. And the scary part is, I feel like that's not the end of the list. There's probably like a hundred requirements on here. But yeah, that's just what it takes to be with the ultimate alpha male. Yeah, okay. Oh, you're so sad. Oh my god. Move on, bro. Take your horniness elsewhere. What? I'm not in the mood. I'm just in love with you. Your voice. Your you. You're so beautiful. Everything about you. Your art. Oh my god. Please marry me. How many times do I have to reject you to drill the idea into your head? Oh, you're so amazing. W-S-O-W. Thank you so much for talking to me. <laughs> the fact that you use energy to type to me means the world. I love you so much. We will be married one day. Yeah, I really don't like these ones where they say that they're going to be married one day. Like, it makes me uncomfortable. I can't even imagine how this person feels. The word unhinged comes to mind. A life-size Baby Yoda is now available to pre-order. $350 from Collect Sideshow. $350 for a horizontal mumbo doll. Sounds a little pricey if you ask me. Yeah, gonna pretend I didn't read that. So what, you're ignoring me now? You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna end myself. Just joking. I'm a chill guy. But please give me a chance. Please, please, please. My doctor said I will die from depression if I don't get nudes. Send now, please. Yeah, that's really gross. Like, there's no way around it. It's super gross. I have the no nude syndrome. If you don't send me a photo of your boobies right now, my legs will fall off. This is not a drill, okay? Females, I'm looking for a woman who will make me you know what. M. Make a genuine connection. A. Appreciate the things I do for you. K. Kiss me. E. Eager to ask about my day. M. Marry me. E. Endlessly love me. C. Create a life together. U. Until death do us part. M. Make me you know what. Army. History. Medal. 5 foot 10. Active Leo High School. Socially. What? Socially drink? Never smokes, wants a relationship, wants children, and is spiritual. Yeah, I feel like the only incelly thing about this is the fact that they said females. The rest of it is actually pretty funny. Make a fart video. It's not that hard. I really want to know what this is a response to. So, like, they're replying to a comment on a video, right? What are they even talking about? And also, what's a fart video? Do you just fart? I am not going to look them up okay? I just want to know what they were talking about. Like, were they talking about making money? And they're like, oh, just make a fart video. It's not that hard. Like, come on, I'd pay you thousands for a fart video. Hand reveal. Well, S word, are you ready to be choked by a demon? No. I don't think I am ready. Don't think I ever will be. Did it possibly turn you on a little? Ah, uh, not really. Sorry, I'm just really freaking in the mood. Yeah, cool. What do you mean, cool? I don't know, lol. Okay. Uh, now 
want. Does that say, do you like Five Nights at Freddy's? <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm scared and I'm gonna move on now, guys. Yeah, the hardest truth I had to learn was women are far more intelligent than I gave them credit for. And I've been holding grudges from the age of 24. Ha ha. Um, good, I suppose, that you finally figured out that, what, women are more intelligent than you give them credit for. Sad and definitely in silly, but, you know, kind of good, I suppose. I don't know how to feel about this. My most controversial opinion is that dating apps only exist for girls to feel better about themselves. Change my mind. Dude, nobody is gonna change your mind on this. You need to change your opinion on this and your attitude towards this. You know, like, this attitude is probably less leading to the reason why you don't like dating apps? Wait, it's not all women's fault? And it's actually more likely because I don't like them and I'm rude to them? Ah, oh, no way. About me. Can't hang out? Don't plan on meeting? Try and dictate anything to me? You'll be instantly blocked. We as men built the world that you exist inside of. I'm calling the shots. My name is Kevin, six foot tall. I'm very mad. Masculine, <laughs> and I don't tolerate anything except deep femininity from a woman. Comply or goodbye. I love how they have to say I'm a very masculine. Like, what does that even mean? I cut wood all day in the forest and I don't wipe after I go to the toilet. I'm a man. No, like, I'm sure Kevin is masculine. If you ever need a ride home from work, save your money and send me a message. I'll come and pick you up and take you home. All I ask in return is that you blank me off and let me play with you during the trip. My goal is to make you, you know what, before we arrive at your destination. Otherwise, I get to, yeah, um, <laughs> I don't want to read that. I get to horizontal mumbo and yeah, that's the end. I want to read wholesome memes so bad. I'm gonna get you pregnant, daydreaming about how fine you'd be. So they send them a photo of them edited as if they were pregnant. So fine, so, so fine. See? Blocked. Yeah, um, I think blocking them was very much the right thing to do. If somebody is sending you an edited photo of yourself as being pregnant, probably shouldn't be talking to them. Hey, on Friday, September 9. Good morning, Friday, September 9. Yo, Friday, September 9. 9, but at 10 at night. Hi, Wednesday, September 14. Hey, Thursday, September 15. Hi, Friday, September 16. Good morning, Monday. Hey, Friday, today. Good morning. Like when Ralph goes up to Chief Wiggum and asks how to get a girlfriend, and Chief Wiggum's like, you have to be persistent. But yeah, why did you think after 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine messages with no response that you were gonna get one after a tenth message? Probably take a hint. I want you to be my girlfriend and I want to put you on a pedestal and show you off to the entire freaking world. So high that you can touch the freaking moon. Everyone will be like, she's not that great. And I'll be like, yes, she freaking is. I love everything about you, especially the soul that looked at me in the eyes and made me feel the entire world disappear. Life gets hard, but you're worth fighting for. You grabbed me on my hand and I'm not gonna just let it go. I love you, Nat Chan. I want to be your darling and I'll do whatever it takes to protect your heart and make you feel loved. Yes, very romantic, especially the part where you said everyone will be like, she's not that great. That is so mean. Like, come on, do you even care about Nat Chan? Okay, so this one is pretty long, I think. You are so, 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 fit. Charles Leclerc is a fantastic F1 driver. Hope her can win the championship this year. Do you want Leclerc to win the F1 championship? Yes or no? Can you please forgive me for my stupid job? 
joke. I hope you can text me soon. Good night. Please text me in the morning. I'm really sorry. Hi, this is Nathan's older brother. What did he say to you? He said he was just joking around. He said that he is really, really sorry for saying that joke. What did my little brother say to you? So I know what he tells me is the truth. He said that he put nice, I want to have some fun or something like that. And then he said as a joke, naughty fun. Is that true? He said that he was joking around. I've just told him that that is not a joke and he said I'm sorry. Will you forgive my bro? And he just said that he promises to talk nice and no more jokes. He said, can you add him back on Snap? Can you add my bro back on Snap, please? Hi, X, are you okay? X, please text me, X. I miss you, X, X. Hi, this is his brother. Why are you not texting him? Tell me why you are not texting my bro. Please just talk to him and sort it out. He misses you. Do it for me. Please make my bro happy. I'm sorry. I miss you, XX. Bro, I've spoken to you once. Can you still be friends with him? No. Can you tell me why, please? You've sent me over 60 messages in the last 24 hours. Sorry, that was my bro. And then they send a whole bunch of crying emojis. Oh, no. My brother. He's so silly. Don't worry about him. It wasn't me. My friend took my phone. Yeah, I don't know if this is an incel sort of thing, or if they're literally like 11 years old. Like, just the way that they said all of that. Like, I promise, it was my it was my bro, you know? It wasn't me. Also, maybe not though. They're probably like middle-aged. Would not be surprised. I'm just making sure, because a lot of girls just cosplay characters for attention and likes. Yeah, okay, man. Have a good holiday. Thumb up. You too. Is that all you're gonna say? Yeah. It's been a long day and I'm stuffed and I'm really just trying to unwind. So yeah, have a good night, bud. Some people just tend to be more appreciative when you compliment them. Not all just a figured you'd be a little more appreciative, especially since you claim to be a gamer. Do you play PC or console? That would explain a lot. Hello? Sorry if that sounds hostile. Well, don't be hostile. Dude, hostile doesn't even begin to describe this extremely one-sided conversation. Yeah, it's only one-sided because someone, wink, wink, you, is quiet. No, it's not, dude. FML. What? And they send a smiley face. I'm teasing. Dude, stop. Thank you for your half-assed compliments, as condescending as they were. I'm trying to enjoy my night, and I don't have time for your nice guy ball. I literally just tried being nice to you. I complimented your crappy cosplay. I tried making conversation. Screw me for trying though. You're a fake ass biatch. Highly doubt you game. And you're wondering why they didn't want to have a conversation? Oh my god. Hey, what's up? Hi, I'm here to see if you can let me join the Arsenal FC fan chat. Sure, what's your name? This is my name. You're a girl? Straightens tie. Hi, I'm so-and-so. Nice to meet you. Yeah, hi. Can I join or can I not? Home's back hair. Sure, you can join if you want to. But where do you live? Asking them where they live? Yeah, that's not creepy, is it? I'm not comfortable with telling you that. Slowly massages your breast. We both support Arsenal. You may as well tell me where you live. Okay, that's a bit too much for me. Bye. A bit too much? Are you joking? Freaking biatch. Yeah. Um, I think we all know what time it is, guys. You're pretty cute. You got a boyfriend? I can hit you up as long as you're 17 this year. I'm in so-and-so. I'm not interested. Thank you. Please, I'll do anything. Yeah, I'm really not interested, dude. Why not? I can make you feel like the most important girl in the world. Yeah, my boyfriend boyfriend already does that for me. Thanks. Well, then your boyfriend is a cuck boy and not a real man. I bet he's an ugly femboy and needs to kiss your butt to get your approval. Women are supposed to be chosen. They aren't supposed to be selective like you are right now.
now. Yeah, whatever makes you feel better about yourself, little guy. Oh my god, we're starting the video like this? Women are supposed to be chosen. They aren't supposed to be selective like you are right now. This is all wrong. You're not supposed to reject me. You're supposed to immediately be with me and love me. That's the problem with women. They're too selective. It's not my fault at all. No. Hey, I was at your gig a few months ago and I really liked your sound. Do you do private gigs? Hi, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I do, but what kind of event are we talking about and when? I have a few wedding gigs already booked next month. Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, thank you. So yeah, about the event. Haha, <laughs> it's not even an event really. I was thinking just you and me at my place, some wine and good food. You're so beautiful and fun and it'd be an honor to get to know you better. Well, sounds like quite the event. Ah, uh, yeah, thank you for the offer, but I'll have to pass. Why? You would love it, I promise. But I understand. You're a beautiful woman and I'm just a nobody. Ah, uh, to me, what you're offering sounds more like a date than a gig. I do appreciate your kindness, but I do music for work, hence I take it very seriously. On top of that, I'm interested in someone already. Oh, I should have known. You just think that you're too good for me, you freaking biatch. You're interested but not dating? Then he doesn't cherish and love you like a lady should be treated. But no wonder since you're just a dumb C word who doesn't know what is best for her. Oh my god. I'm not interested anymore. Go be an S word and wonder later why your life is crap because you didn't give a single chance to a good guy and yourself. So you're saying that because they rejected you, they're gonna have a bad life? Oh my god. <laughs> Did you notice how they literally said he doesn't cherish and love you like a lady should be treated? And the next thing they said is, oh, no wonder, cause you're a dumb C word. <laughs> like the fact that that's something that I just read makes me want to cry. So what night are you free? Yeah, I'm not really sure yet, but I'll keep you notified as we get to know each other better. No, oh, I see how it is. The old meeting a guy off the internet is scary cause he might actually be a nice guy scenario. Nice guy as in a nice guy or like a nice guy that you see on Reddit. Yeah, either way, this is off to a rough start. Hey, I'm not a creep. I'm not a serial, you know, I'm not a stalker. I'm just all around a good guy. And I just want to say, hi, you're beautiful. What's up? Yes, hello, I'm a good guy. <laughs> and I want to tell you that I'm a good guy. And I'm definitely not not a good guy. That's for damn sure. You know, you could have just said, hi, you're beautiful. What's up? And not all of the super weird stuff about you not being a stalker and you not being a murderer. Probably could have left that out. I'm sick in brackets physically. And somebody responds to it. Also mentally, you display multiple signs of mental illness. Anyway, where can I find a girl like you? Only guys like me can afford something like this. Oh, wait a second. I'm a guy like me. Only management type guys with big salaries like me can afford things like that. <gasps> guys like me. I'm a guy like me. Hey, I got your number from so-and-so and I was wondering if you wanted to go out this Saturday. Um, I don't even know who this is. It's so-and-so. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to say no. And in the future, you should ask someone for their number directly. All right, well, frick you. I bet you'd say yes if it was an a-hole asking. End yourself C-word. Oh my god. That's not how you talk to somebody. Do you have have a boyfriend? I'm married. Oh, that's nice. Lucky guy. Haha, -ha, yeah, thank you. I'm the lucky one. Haha, -ha, really? Why? Because my husband's the best. Okay, congrats. But I'm a nice guy too. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll keep you in mind when I don't have a husband anymore. Like, what are they even talking on? Is this like a game chat or something? Remember when we read creepy messages of people talking on the Scrabble app? I 
I think it was the Scrabble app. But yeah, for some reason, that reminds me of this. Like, yeah, sure, I'll remember you, nice guy, who I probably don't even know. Scared. Hello, I am the UK government. You need to pay £1,500 iTunes gift card to me, or you are under the rest. Under the rest of what? iTunes gift cards? Okay. Hey, this is so-and-so. I'm not sure if you remember me. Ha ha ha. Oh my god, yeah, hey. What's up? Nothing much, just school, work, and stuff like that, you know? Yeah, the same basically. Ha ha, so are you and so-and-so still together? Yeah, we are. Oh, uh, what do you want? <laughs> oh, well, I'm not sure why you text me back when you knew you still had a boyfriend. I was just making conversation. I didn't want to be rude and ignore you. Oh, so instead you were a you-know-what and led me on. Okay, lol. I hope he sees these and breaks up with you, honestly. Oh my god, are you joking? <laughs> it's what you deserve. They haven't done anything. Are you okay, bro? I'm just a looking out for a bro and he doesn't deserve a girl who acts like this, leading other guys on for the thrill of it like a bee arch. I said 16 words to you, but yeah, go off, I guess. Yeah, they did not lead you on. And the fact that they even think that is kind of concerning. Okay, here is the plot and I'm part fox and we're both part of a magical girl and boy school where everyone is part animal. So you are first year and every first year gets a second year to show them how the school works and they also share a dorm and we're in Japan and we're in the magic sex course. What do you think? What? <laughs> I don't even know what you just said. Sounds magic. Like are they pitching somebody their screenplay? Like hey listen I had this awesome idea for a movie. Can you tell me what you think? Basically I'm part fox and we go to a magical school for animals and we live in a dorm in Japan and we're in the magic sex course? Do you think that's an amazing idea or is it just me? Hey. Oh my god, hey, how are you? Yeah, good. How about yourself? Pretty good too. Thank you for asking. Oh, no problem, lol. Have you ever put your feet in someone's face just to mess with them? Lol, just asking because I'm bored. Have I read this or have we just read a lot of posts about feet? I genuinely don't know. No, that's gross to be honest. Lol, that would be funny though. Nah, man. Okay, whatever, B arch. <laughs> Bro, what? How did you get to that from what you just said? How are you angry because somebody doesn't want to put their feet in your face to mess with them? What were you expecting to happen? Okay, so somebody's selling some slippers. Oh my god, I like your style, your fair, your glasses and your tat on your hand. Yeah, thanks, my husband likes it too. Do you want to buy the slippers? Yeah, people trying to crack onto people on Facebook Marketplace and stuff like that is so, so weird. Like, do you want to just buy my item that I have for sale, please? I'm not trying to date you. You matched with so-and-so on Tinder. My wife says I'm too small. Aww. <laughs> right, so that's the first thing you say. I'm assuming the other person never responded. Because, like, yeah, what would they say? say. Like, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm so sorry. Um, let's get together sometime. Probably not. Can somebody make some weed that heals your gut too? I'm trying to kill one bird with two bricks. Thank you. My ding dong is named weed and can easily get in your gut. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Uncomfortable. Men in their late 30s are hot. Sorry. Proof that not all of us are hot. Unless you actually mean temperature then yes, I am in fact hot. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know how I'd ever respond to this. I'm sure you're sick of hearing this a hundred times a day from guys like me, but your smile is the most beautiful curve on your body. And their profile picture is just them topless. <laughs> yeah, well, at least that one was nice, I suppose. Hello, beautiful crush. I know you do not check your messages because you got a lot of desperate weird following you and they creep you out clearly. 
Lee. So I don't blame you. I just want to let you know I had a massive crush on you for a long time. You're just a gorgeous. Anyway, I make you something. Just a letting you know you always been my favorite crush. And I'm assuming this is in the future. They put up a story that says, Yola low-key little pervs. And this same person responds and says, but you're a fat desperate perv as well, so you can't really talk. Yeah. <laughs> Get the feeling they're not gonna respond. Hi, let's be together. Beautiful. I want to lick all of your body. You are gorgeous. You are beautiful. Marry me, please. I think of you every night. I really want you. You are my everything. We need to be together. Please accept my friend request. You are too good to be left alone. Would you marry me? Hi. Let's be friends, beautiful girl. No. <laughs> hmm. You're already talking about marrying this person. Probably not the right move. Hi. Yeah, hi. Do I know you? No, but I've liked you for like ages and ages. You were so fit, babe. What the hell, dude? Why have you put yourself into one of my profile pictures? That's creepy AF. Ew, delete that, you weirdo. I'm blocking you now. Wait, so they changed their profile picture and they edited a photo of this person into it? That is so unbelievably strange. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm gonna show this person how much they mean to me by photoshopping them into my photos. <laughs> Hi. Oh my god, Haley, I love you. Marry me. 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 I love you. Wait, I get the feeling that they love them and want to marry them. Not sure why. I found this old picture of me trying to do a dungeon master photo shoot. Do you think I should try to have a go at it again and do a proper one? Tries to form words. I I like ice cream. Runs away. <laughs> That's the best thing I've ever read. I like ice cream. Okay, bye. I'm out of here. Runs away. A boy complimented my eyeliner 44 days ago and I'm still thinking about it. Hi, I messaged you about two dozen times and you have yet to respond. Haha, <laughs> you must be very busy. Lol, I get it. People have stuff to do. Some other people think they're too good to respond. Haha, <laughs> I'm not talking about you. Arch. They're definitely not gonna respond now. People that think they deserve a response are so frustrating. Like, why do you think that? Especially when it's somebody like this who probably gets so many messages. Good evening, woman. You're busy, so I'll get to the point. I'm a man. I have needs. Please help me. Please open your you-know-what for me. Please. I'm on my knees begging you. Please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please, my lady. Just a little bit. <laughs> Good evening, woman. You're going to ignore and block me, aren't you? I just know you will. So you know what? Frick you in advance. Frick you and your VJJ. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Frick you and your VJJ. <laughs> my VJJ's got nothing to do with this, okay, buddy? Leave her out of it. Well, I see you're a man of culture as well. Um, I'm a girl, but thanks. How far can you, you know what? <laughs> I'm not reading that. <laughs> What's good, B Arch? Your VJJ? My ding dong? Now. I ain't got no time to waste. Go, go, go. Ah, uh, hello, do I know you? Bish, I ain't got a brain, yo. I said I ain't got time to waste. What's the matter with you? Your VJJ? My ding dong? Now. <laughs> Where you at, girl? Holler back. <laughs> B-Arch ain't got a brain, yo. Oh, I thought that said I don't have a brain. Which probably would have made a lot more sense. I am the nurse that saw you when you were born. Oh, God. <laughs> and I've kept in close contact with your mother since day one. I swore that one day I would meet you when you turned 20 to present myself as an eligible suitor. <laughs> Not okay with this. Please, please, please do the horizontal mumbo with me. This can't be real. There's no way this is real. I'm so lonely. And I helped to bring you to this world by 
of being a nurse. Please have sexy time with me or I'll jump out of the window blanking, blanking myself. Just kidding. I'm just kidding, lol. But can we meet though? Your mother is attractive and you must be even more fine than her. I've been waiting 20 years for you to grow up. You owe me. <laughs> I feel like crying. That has to be fake, doesn't it? It's just too much. You know, it's too much in one message for it to be real, surely. Hello, woman. Please do not be offended. I'm not in the mood right now. I just wanted to say that you're sexy. That's it. Is that okay that I said that? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are you so angry? I just wanted to tell you how sexy you are, if that's okay. <laughs> Don't get offended. <laughs> hey, cutie, you should send me nudes. I'm not like the other guys on this app. I'm just a looking for love. Hey, I don't really do that. Sorry. Not even for me. Haha, <laughs> sorry. Freaking stupid C words, all of them. Why is everybody so angry today? Oh my god. How do you get that mad from this? Hey, good evening. <laughs> Why is everybody saying good evening? Like Homer in the Treehouse of Horror episode. Good evening. My name is Duke. Not Duke Nukeman with a tongue out emoji. <laughs> I am 31 years old and an overall great guy. <laughs> I am a very hard working man with a big heart. I found you very attractive and would like to get to know you more. I'm a big talker and you'll never be bored with me. If you want to get to know me, then respond with cool. <laughs> if you're going to reject me, then don't respond because my feelings get hurt very easily. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. With a laughing emoji. A very sad laughing emoji. Enjoy the rest of your day, beautiful. P.S. I'm rich. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the best one we've read. It had everything I was looking for in a creepy incel reply. So, we're gonna go out on a date. You're gonna friend zone me because you're gonna think you have no feelings for me. False. And then we're gonna be like just friends. I'm gonna get interested in somebody else. You're gonna be jealous of how I treat her. And then you're gonna confess your feelings for me. And then I'll leave her for you. And then we'll be together forever. Never mind. You look like a man. <laughs> oh, it just works out, doesn't it? <laughs> when the universe closes a door, it opens a window. So yeah, I'm sure they're not too upset about this. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry. I'm too old. I'm too old. You messaged me first. Sad emoji. Confused emoji. <laughs> very, very confused emoji. Yo, I don't know what you heard, but a lot of people have said... I'm creepy. <laughs> That's not how you start a message. One thing you gotta know about me. I'm a freaking good guy. <laughs> In capital letters. Here's what's gonna happen. We are going to go on a lovely date. Me and you tonight. You have one chance to prove yourself. So wear your best dress. My phone number is so and so. Call me right now freaking B arch. If you don't respond within 24 hours. It's a freaking over and I'm gonna block you. I don't have time for no games. I'm a rich man. My time is money to fill me Biatch. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> Farts are furiously. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I startle you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Didn't see you there. <laughs> How do you fart furiously? Nice guys are so mad about rejection that they have angry farts. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm 11 years old now. In seven years, I will find you and we will do it. Mark my my words. Yeah, so that has to be fake because I'm not going to accept that that might be real. And yeah, let's read something wholesome, guys. Rent free. Wait, seriously? You don't pay rent? That's not what 
they mean. <laughs> I just don't get this world. You'd think if someone has a lot of money, they especially would have to pay rent for an apartment. How do you get your place rent free while others have to pay? Life is not fair, man. Yeah, so I can't believe we're starting this video with a post that is not an incel reply. <laughs> but yeah, that's not what they meant. What's cooking, hot? <laughs> Crap. I am 12 years old, so I cannot have a girlfriend yet, but can we at least be cute friends? You are so my type. I can help manage your social media page and do video editing for your suitable for work only fans. No nudes allowed. I am a dedicated and very helpful friend. Give me a chance. Let's go, hot crap. We got this. <laughs> what? <laughs> They're not 12, are they? <laughs> am I? I stupid. Hey you, I am your man from now on. <laughs> you are my woman. Mine. You better freaking understand that. If you don't understand that, we're gonna have a serious problem. Do we have a problem? Did they think this was a good thing to say? Like they were gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm your woman. We don't have a problem. <laughs> I love you. Surely they didn't think this was a good idea. Now you freaking Listen to me. I'm a good guy. Great guy. The best. <laughs> I love how not serious that sounded. Yeah, I'm a good guy. I'm a great guy. Yeah, the best. <laughs> I'm the greatest guy ever. Okay, I'm not. <laughs> and you are going to be my wife. And that is that. So you better understand that right now. Is it the same person as the last one? Surely it is. You are my wife now. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> not even a little bit. Hello, my doctor said I need to have the horizontal mumbo within 24 hours or I'll die. You need to help me now. Oh no, it's a medical emergency. Yeah, nice try. <laughs> Great news, I got the job and I'm starting training next week. Thank you so much for all of your help. Netflix and chill to celebrate. No, what the hell? Why not? Well, I have a boyfriend for starters, so I I've known you for way longer and not to be a ding dong, but you kinda owe me. <laughs> Excuse me? Just saying, you never would have gotten a job without me putting in a good word for you. I figure this is the least you can do to say thank you for everything I've done for you. Other guys have had you on your knees for nothing. What the hell? But I get ghosted after everything that I've done for you, really? This can be the dream job you've always wanted or I can make it a living hell. It's up to you. Oh, okay. What an awful thing to say. Ew. Yucky. Gross. Icky. Icky. Gross. Gross. Yuck. <laughs> good morning. You passed on a good one. You're not even that cute to ignore me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not all about how cute you are on the outside. <laughs> it's also the inside. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes, I do. Now we'll have to find him a new girlfriend. I want you. <laughs> no, <laughs> definitely not. A gif of a wolf? You unfollowed me. Snow shows teeth. But we were oof mees. <laughs> what is that? Guys, what does oof me mean? Did they mean a oomphy? One of my friends? I don't know. But why are you snarling and showing teeth? <laughs> Hi, are you a submissive object? No. And we're gonna move on. Good evening, young young lady, who gave you permission to post those semi-naked photos on your socials? Do your parents know about this? You look like you're 15 years old. How old are you really? Do you know that that is a very improper to post those dirty, dirty things on the internet for others to see? You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm a very concerned father with several children myself and I don't condone your behavior online. Don't you realize how this could impact your chances of getting into college and your whole career. Think about the consequences of your actions. I will be contacting your parents. There's a cafe near your apartment or 
or near the school that you go to and we can meet there so I can give you further guidance about how to save your life. I'm very concerned about your future. It's a shame to see such potential go to waste. Think before you post. You will be seeing me soon. Stay tuned. Enjoy the rest of your day. Ew, how dare you? You can't say stuff like this. Ew. <laughs> no. The audacity. That's infuriating <laughs> that somebody thinks that they can say that. Hey, be my girlfriend. I feel so lonely right now, for real. And they say L. <laughs> and they call them a uh, hua. Yeah, that's not going to help your situation. Hi, I hope you don't mind that I do the solo diddly to your profile picture. Thanks. Okay, I'll block myself now. Bye. But just in case you want to talk, <laughs> here's my number. Sorry, that was stupid. I hate myself. You didn't have to send any of this. Can't you unsend messages? Probably do that. Hello, beautiful woman. I don't like small talk. Let's just skip to the horizontal mumbo. What's your address, babe? Oh, yeah, babe. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Locks doors. Yo, yo, yo. I am a man. Full stop. You are a woman. Full stop. What else is there to say? Let's make that magic happen, biatch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I feel like there are definitely people that think that this is a good thing to say, and that's kind of terrifying. Let's make this magic happen, biatch. <laughs> yeah, nah. You probably think I'm like a follow bot or something, understandably. On the contrary, I'm quite alive. I stumbled onto your account and I'm wondering if you're okay. It seems that you've been down for the count lately and I wanted to check up on you. Oh, thank you. You trying to bang? <laughs> oh, why couldn't it just be wholesome? Do you have a boyfriend? May God ignore you the way that you've ignored me. <laughs> oh, okay. How dare you ignore me, a random person, when you have the right to do so because you don't have to respond to anybody? My doctor said I have a terminal illness and I only have two more days to live. I want to spend those last days with you. It is my dying wish. May I have your number? Yeah, so I'm really hoping this one isn't real because I'm going to feel really bad <laughs> if they do have a terminal illness, but I'm pretty sure they don't. Hey baby, I got told I have an illness that can only be cured if we do the horizontal mumbo. <laughs> Please save my life. Okay, so this is a continuation of the last post. Oh, you're just gonna ignore me, aren't ya? Well, screw you then. After I die, I will haunt you as a ghost. Yeah, I don't know. Honestly, that doesn't sound very good. <laughs> what did they ask? I want to spend the last day with you. Dunno. My might be better than being haunted for the rest of your life. You are my light, my love, and my reason for being. I could never be with anybody else because any other love would only be a cheap imitation of my feelings for you. You are my one and only, and I am yours, always and forever. Oh, if you can catch a breath between chugging you know what, I'd love to hear from you. They said ding dongs, by the way. What the hell? Sad face. Yeah, very sad. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Imagine being like, oh yes, you are absolutely the light of my life. You're everything I've always wanted. And then to immediately, completely pivot and say something like that. Like how do your emotions even change that drastically? Kind of impressive to be honest. Hi, can you sell me photos of your feet and a picture of a dog? <laughs> a very cute curious looking dog. What's the answer? <laughs> Are you gonna send me pictures of your footsie wootsies? Come on, I sent you a photo of a dog. It's only fair. What's up my sexy slave? Just kidding, just kidding. I'm not a moiterer. I just want to meet you and get to know you. Yeah, well you're going about it pretty roughly, buddy. I go, well, don't worry, I'm not a murderer. Ha 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 ha. Trust me, I'm not terrifying. Ha 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 ha. Answer your phone brat. Ha ha. You should totally call in sick and come hang out with me instead. Ha ha ha. Is that a yes or a no? Lol, I can't. That sucks, cutie. Maybe another time. Yeah, I'm just gonna say this now to get it out of the way. I just got out of a relationship
relationship and I'm not interested in jumping back into one right now. But I'm more than happy to be friends and I don't mind giving you rides to work. Hmm, that changes things. Whatever. How so? I don't think I can be friends with a girl that shuts me down for that BS excuse. I haven't done anything to deserve being shut down so fast, but as usual, I'm not even given a chance. Guess I just need to accept that respectful guys finish last and that'll never change. <laughs> That's not what's going on. They had like the most reasonable answer ever to reject somebody. Like they're just not ready for this right now. Why do you have to take that personally, you know? Okay, well, bye then. What do you mean, bye? You don't want to talk to me anymore? You said that you can't be friends with me for shutting you down. What else am I supposed to say? Um, how about sorry? Sorry for leading me on? How was I leading you on? I was giving you rides to work. Lol, I was honest and upfront with you, and that's not something I'm gonna apologize for. You gave me your number. I don't know about you, but I don't give my number to people that I'm not interested in. Lol, I gave you my number so you could let me know when you needed a ride to work. That's it. Frick it. Forget giving me rides to work. Just delete my number and don't talk to me more, please. We're done here. Okie dokie. Get over yourself. And a word of advice, next time don't try to be so flirty if you don't intend on people catching feelings. I feel like somehow they weren't being flirty. I don't know why I'm even tripping. You're kind of a bee arching cocky when you have no reason to be. Like I said, get over yourself soon because no decent guy will want you if that's how you treat them. So good luck with that LMFAO. Yeah, maybe a bit of an overreaction. Just a little bit. <laughs> I pooped. Can I smell it? Yeah, gross. My queen has done a stinky. Would you give me the honor of sniffing it, m'lady? Oh, what's that? My queen did big stinky winkies. Can I please have a smell? My dad hits himself sometimes and throws things because he is depressed that mummy died. Oh God, I'm scared. Can you be my new mummy? Please come to our house and be my new mummy. You'll love my dad and he'll love you. I promise. Right, so I feel like it's pretty obvious that this isn't real. Like that's not just creepy. It's all so sad. You're perfectly beautiful, but you talk too vulgar to men online. That's something that needs improvement. <laughs> the audacity. Oh my god. Hello, random person. This is how you can improve. <laughs> Don't talk to men so vulgarly. When someone is vulgar, a princess-like attitude is a cold shoulder to vulgarity. Block the vulgar ones. But instead, you blocked me, the preacher that loves you. It's understandable because you're a female, oh my god, and of incipient understanding. This is why a patriarchal society like the medieval Catholic society is ideal. In such society, vulgar peasants don't get to talk to a princess or refined peasant. Rather, the negotiations are with your dad, and your dad isn't going to be tolerating scoundrels. <laughs> oh my god, it's been way too long since I've heard the word scoundrels, and your dad isn't going to be tolerating scoundrels who ask you to show your boobs. Instead, he would have given you to me as a wife long ago. Yeah, so where are you going with this? What part of this is a good thing to say to somebody? Like, surely this is one message. There's no way they're actually having a conversation here. I feel like the other person has never responded and they just keep sending paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs. Like, hello, random person. You should be my wife and my princess. <laughs> yeah, I'm not creepy at all. <laughs> no, no, no. Why do I find such cool girls that have good personalities and so much in common just to find out that they've got some piece of crap boyfriend? Like, what the hell? I'm a piece of crap. Why couldn't you date me? <laughs> That's amazing. I was about to say like, oh yeah, here's another person that assumes that everybody that isn't them is a piece of crap. But they said, I'm a piece of crap. <laughs> Why couldn't you just date me? So don't date the piece of crap that you're with. Date me, another fellow piece of crap. No, but still, they probably don't know that their boyfriend is a piece of crap. They're just not saying that they're a good person. I just found out that I have cancer. Please do the horizontal mumbo with me. So this is pretty much like the first one that we read, isn't it? Please feel bad for me and do the horizontal mumbo with me right now. It's like the choosing beggars that are like, you know, 
I just got this disease and you need to feel sorry for me, so you should give me something for free. If they actually do have cancer, I sound like an a-hole, <laughs> but I get the feeling they're just saying that. I hope so anyway. I mean, if you want attention, then feel free to spam me photos of you. Oh, okay. I'll just go screw myself then. I offered you attention. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, and they didn't want it, obviously. That's okay. These people that expect everybody to always respond no matter what, scary. Like, especially when it's somebody that you don't even know. You're not entitled to this, bro. Fair bit of money, but I figured that you're worth it. What's a good time for a date, beautiful? Um, who are you? Actually, I don't want to know. Please never text me again. Wow, I went through all of this trouble and you just reject me? They don't even know who you are. What do you mean? I went through $40 just to get your phone number, you ungrateful biatch. I'll still go out with you if you change your mind. <laughs> but don't think for one second that it'll be anywhere nice. In some parts of the world, a woman could be blanked to blank for talking to a generous, loving man like you just did. Consider yourself on a thin line. They literally said, actually, I don't want to know. Please never text me again. And you think that's bad? Ugh, that one wasn't funny. <laughs> that was concerning. Ask what about me? Small talk 101? I don't like small talk. So, let's go for big talks. Are you gay or what? No. And single? Okay then, I offer you a marriage proposal. Three kids, max and seven years. I have a boyfriend? Read it again. I didn't say I want to be your boyfriend. Yeah, but I'm not interested in marriage with you. You will live in my house under my roof. You will be blocked. No need to work and with whatever you want. Is this some random person on Discord? Oh, hello, Discord kitten. You will be my wife. <laughs> my PP has gone. boy -o -o Would you like to see you know what? Hey, how about you put it in this? Ha! <laughs> no, thank you. Oh my god. That response is so funny. Ha! <laughs> I don't think it's a boy -o -o anymore. Goddess, do you sell your farts? <laughs> this is the beginning of a wonderful conversation. Um, yes, I absolutely do. $1,000 a piece. So what? This one is a random message that says, any incest thoughts? <laughs> oh god. Why are these videos so hard to film? Why did I just sing that? If you hit me with your car, I might thank you. Not that I think you would, but like it'd be alright is all. Like every single one of these is a first message because they all have that ignore and block thing down the bottom. Like who is just randomly messaging this to somebody? Can you tide me up, choke me, scratch me, bite me and dominate me? Nah, I'm alright. Yeah, I'm alright as well. Yeah, gonna have to pass on that one. Sorry, buddy. Okay, I think we've read enough weird messages for today. Let's read something wholesome. This cat was pregnant and I used to put food under the balcony every day. Been gone for a week and today she came back to show me her daughter. Oh, <laughs> I love cats so much. So damn cute. And like, it seems like that's genuinely what they're doing as well. Like, hello friend, look what I have. Almost brings a tear to my eye. My dog is 16, so I figured it's time for some driving lessons. <laughs> Why do I feel like dogs would be better drivers than people? They absolutely wouldn't, but I feel like they'd be more polite. Like they would definitely obey the road rules. <laughs> well, we talk about some absolute nonsense, don't we guys? This is the kind of problem I want in my life. <laughs> Too many beautiful kitties, don't we all? Okay guys, thank you for watching. I hope you had a beautiful time today. And if you did and you didn't get too horrified, make sure you annihilate that like and subscribe button and let me know down below what you thought. And the comment of the day goes to Maverick Mayhem and it comes from the latest creepy asterisk video. Sees Vincey uploaded and pounces on video cutely. Hope y'all have a nice day. Thank you and I hope you do as well. And yeah, thank you for pouncing on my video cutely. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Sorry, that was hard to say with a straight face. No, but I do really appreciate the support. Even if it comes in the form of you pouncing cutely on my video. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough talking from me for today. Have a wonderful rest of your day, guys. And I'm about to do that thing. <laughs>
<laughs> Bye!